heart hunt and release technique. It's been about three years, three years come uh, Halloween that the first, I uh, took my first heart shot on an animal. And ever since then, been kind of traveling the world to test it out. Well, I can tell you, testing's over. I've done hundreds of heart shots on hundreds of animals. And it's, uh, it's, it's a real thing. It's a real feeling. So hunt and release technique, hunting. What is it? <laughs> it's the hunt minus the kill. Um, and not against the kill. It's just minus the kill for people uh, in different stages of their life. Um, maybe they're done hunting, killing. Maybe they're just starting to uh, full, what I call full harvest hunting is killing. So when I say full harvest, it's uh, it means a kill hunt, a, uh, a harvest for meat hunt, but I say full harvest and heart. Those are the two different things I do. And it's in addition to and never instead. So heart is always in addition to full harvest hunting. It's just different stages of a person's life or different stages during the week. So hunt and release technique. It's, it's a technique of hunting where the the entire hunt is the same as a full harvest hunt. The entire thing. Nothing's different. But we use camera systems and blanks and uh, certain equipment on a bow. You can use a muzzle loader with different camera equipment. And what it does is capture your shot on a photo, on a video at that point in time. And that tells you your kill. That tells you the kill shot. And right now it's it's based on um, what you see on that camera at the time. So if your crosshairs are on the vitals and you you know that that was a uh, um, a close enough shot or what you're using would put the animal down, that's the heart shot. The whole goal is to experience the hunt from the planning stages to the middle stages where the anticipation of going to then going on the hunt, then finding your animal, learning about your animal beforehand, during the hunt, and even after the hunt. Um, will you be as success successful as full harvest? You'll be just the same. Um, if you're skillful enough to get close and you can hold the crosshair steady, whichever weapon you choose, you're going to be successful. If anything's in that area you're lacking, you're, you're going to be not successful in, in having the heart shot. Now, but what's the point of heart? Um, what exactly is the goal of hunt and release technique hunting? Why not just go full harvest hunting? Well, aside from the fact that maybe you don't want to kill the animal or don't have time to kill the animal or don't want the meat or don't are not after the trophy um, and you're after the experience or you want to hang out with people that, that do full harvest hunt, but you're not into that, <clears throat> this gives you a way to do that. So what I say is the main reason for heart is added opportunity that opportunity to go and some of these areas that we that we go into would not been a bit we would not have been able to do that um, on a full harvest basis um, but now we're offered access to those places and basically for me those places are are places I always wanted to go always wanted to hunt whether or not I shot an animal didn't matter it was um, learning my quarry, going after them, and seeing if I could get close, and seeing if I could get close enough to make a shot, um, whether I kill the animal or not. So heart, hunt and release technique, is for the experience. We say the harvest is the hunt. That experience is what you take home. And there's different ways to memorialize those experiences with trophies that we've come up with. We work with artists, um, taxidermy, all sorts of things. If you can think of a, of a way to memorialize a, a heart hunt, we can we can help you do that. Um, you know, some of these behind here are heart trophies. Some of them are full harvest trophies. Uh, you take a guess which one's which. So, but heart hunt and release technique, and we've got a lot going on with Big Heart Adventures. Um, you can look at BigHeartAdventures.com. That'll tell you a lot of things. You can read through a lot of. Um, articles there that tells you about heart, uh, how you can get involved in heart. The hunts are there. Um, we we are working with affiliating with outfitters such as Broxmo Dream Hunts and Seminole Outfitters, 
and uh, you know, um, over there in Africa, we've we've got Heinrich, and uh, this is Africa safaris. We're running running all over the place there, um, doing doing African safari heart hunts. And the nice thing about heart, you say I'm a full harvest guy. It's, it's not going to pertain to me, but in some instances, it does. Um, Let's say you want to go to Africa. You're just only interested or only have the money to do a kudu and a few other animals. But you go all that way, you spend all that money, and you're there. So why not experience a lion hunt? Why not experience a leopard hunt? Why not experience maybe an elephant hunt? And those are all affordable options once you get over there. To uh, increase your little vacation, I call it a vacation, um, hunt, your adventure, you know, in, increase the value of that and uh, do a little bit more than maybe you wouldn't have been able to do um, on a budget or on time or just what you want to do. So, and again, there's trophy options for that also. But hunt and release technique, if you think of it like adding to full harvest. Um, so if you're done full harvesting in your, in your career, in your lifetime, maybe you can keep hunting. Maybe you can keep hanging out at camp even though you don't um, necessarily want to kill something. You still go out and still end up maybe shooting the biggest buck out there or shooting the biggest elk and kind of make everybody jealous. And uh, it's kind of nice to be able to have options. So hunt and release technique. If you really want to know more about it, you can visit BigHeartAdventures.com. The website will tell you a lot of different things. You can go to the YouTube site, Big Heart Adventures. That's got all the adventures. Um, there's a few that aren't on there. Um, but I, I encourage you to subscribe to that because that will be the adventures that you can go on. And if you can think of it, if you can think of a place and you can think of an animal that you would love to hunt, uh, we can probably put it together for you. It might take a little time depending on, on what the species is, but... I'm pretty sure we can put it together for you. And if you're new to hunting, it's just a perfect place to start. You know, give us a shout. Tell us what you're really interested in. And uh, whether it be bow hunting, muzzle loader hunting, rifle hunting. And we can help you get started. We can get you down the path slowly so you can get into it with uh, no negative experiences up up until the point where you're ready to full harvest an animal. And if you say, I'm not, ever, ever want to full harvest an animal, but I really like to hunt. We're okay with that too. So, BigHeartAdventures.com, Big Heart Adventures on the YouTube. I got this, The Heart Hunter. That's a YouTube site. That's going to be my personal hunts aside from Big Heart Adventures. So, the, the personal hunts that I go on, um, say like do-it-yourself stuff, and a lot of information, a lot of blogs about the hunting community, hunting, and uh, certain, certain uh, um, different topics. I'll go over on The Heart Hunter. That way you'll know to, uh, to follow some informational uh, videos there. And then if you want to go on hunts and, and see what's going on, you know, um, Big Heart Adventures is the place you're going to look there. So follow me on The Heart Hunter on YouTube. Brand new site, brand new channel. And I'll be getting some, uh, some content on there shortly. And then, of course, you can follow me, Mike Croston, on Facebook and uh, Big Heart Adventures on Instagram. But HART, H-A-R-T, Hunt and Release Technique. We've got a nice uh, giveaway coming up, this uh, sweepstakes for the elephant hunt. And I'm telling you, I'm going to do a little video about it. But it's it's a good one, so check it out on BigHeartAdventures.com. So HART, it's Hunt and Release Technique. In addition to full harvest hunting, yes. It uh, just gives you options. It lets you enjoy the hunt with uh, a lot of the other stuff that uh, kind of creates some friction in our daily lives that you can eliminate that until you have more time. Because time is the number one thing holding people back from hunting. Access and money is another, but seriously, time is a big issue. And heart kind of rectifies that on one end of, of the spectrum there. So time release technique, uh, it's brand new. We're rolling though. This is uh, this will be year three, two years of heart hunting all over the place, and uh, now we've got some really cool stuff coming out here in the next two or three months, which I'm really excited. So you you've got to subscribe, you got to follow, you got to like, you got to tune in to see what's coming down the pike. 
unreleased technique. In addition to never instead, where the harvest is the hunt. Look us up.